What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next is this little box here. We've got over $10,000 in books that I submitted to CGC. So let's check these things out. All right, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So, it's not a very big box, just three books in here, but over $10,000 in comics that I submitted to CDC with this one. So what these were was this was three books that I wanted to get recased. So books that I wanted to have uh, new slabs, the updated labels, that kind of thing on them. And it's always a little nerve wracking because I have seen plenty of stories of people sending books in and then the book's not coming back the same grade. <laughs> so even though it says, you know, you should be able to keep the grade and everything, if they determine that there was some type of damage that the book sustained in the case, they can regrade it and they can give you a lower grade. Now, I personally have never had that happen before, but I've seen enough instances of it uh, where I know it does. Now, before I get into these, I want to talk about the sponsor of this video, the comic book presser. If you've watched my CGC unboxings on this channel, almost all of those books were pressed and cleaned by the comic book presser before getting graded by CGC. He does incredible work on all kinds of books. I've had him press Golden Age books from 1940 all the way up to Moderns from 2020, Silver Age magazines, and everything in between. He has very reasonable prices and is also a CGC certified dealer and will pass his savings on to you if you have him submit your books through him. If you're looking to get some books pressed and clean, make sure to check him out on Instagram and through his website. His contact information is in the details of this video. All right, we're back. So let's get into these books. Uh, there was, I remember, there was a uh, there was a really big one that happened a few years ago where somebody had sent in this like high grade pedigree golden age book, and CGC said it didn't. Uh, it had been damaged or what didn't meet the standards for the grade or whatever anymore. And, but they were like, oh, but don't worry, we can press the book for you. And then, and, and you know, we could see if you can get that same grade back. And so then they pressed the book and detached the cover and made it obviously much worse. Cause it went from like, I think it was like an eight or an eight, five down to with a detached cover, the highest I've ever seen is a four Oh. And so so yeah, I, I mean, so that's the kind of thing that always makes me nervous. Now, the other interesting thing with this is this actually got back pretty quick. Uh, so these were all obviously, you know, because of the value, these went into their high value tier. And so that had a little quicker turnaround time. I think it was on their site, it's like 28 days or 30 days. But it was actually faster than that. I'd say it was about 20 business days is around what it took. So it was pretty quick turnaround. I have another set of books that I also sent in for, for re-slabbing that weren't in the high value tier. They haven't even looked at those yet. They've been opened, they're in the system, but they haven't moved forward at all. Uh, those ones, I think it's like 50 or 60 days. Now, one of the books in here is actually one of my keeper books. Another one might be, I haven't decided yet. Uh, the third one isn't. Third one will be going up for sale. I just, I, I had it listed and the case was cracked and I wanted to get a new case uh, for it. All right, so everything, you know, it looks good in here. I can tell that they've got cardboard around the books and then there's lots of bubble wrap around that and uh, one thing though that was interesting with these is that they like you know you have if you've submitted to cgc before you have your uh your like your normal submission and then you can click on it and you can see the grades and everything with it they don't show that with these <laughs> they just they it was just empty next to it and it just says shipped and so i assume it got the same grades i went and checked the certification labels and they said that they were the same grades but i can't actually see the book so to me I felt like this would be kind of fun because it's a little bit of a surprise. I don't actually know for sure if these are actually in the same grade as when I sent them out. I really hope they are. I will be very disappointed if they aren't or if there's any type of damage or anything like that. But I will, uh, now also two of them should have pedigree labels now, the gold ones. And if they don't, I'm gonna be pretty upset about it. Uh, so let's see what the first one is here. Cause I'll, I'll do the little like, you know, bring it down from the top and then we'll, you know, just so it's a surprise anyway. All right, okay, so this one should not have a pedigree label. Uh, this is Wonder Comics, which number is it? I don't remember, let me see, I think it's like 16? Yeah, 16. Okay, this is Wonder Comics 16, really you know, beautiful Alex Schomburg airbrush cover. And this one was an 8.0, so I'm hoping it is still an 8.0. 
All right, all right, so first one, you know, one for one. It's still the 8.0, it's got the new case, has the QR code now that you can scan and everything. And it uh, looks, I mean, this was in a really old case that was cracked. It was the m much cloudier cases. It had the big crack on the side. Uh, and uh, this looks way nicer. I mean, this, this really presents, it makes it really pop better with the much clearer plastic. So I am, you know, I'm happy to have this one in a new case. Yeah, it, it just, it looks so much nicer in this. So if you want to, you know, take a close look at this one, this Wonder Comics run has a bunch of really great Schomburg airbrush covers. They're, most of them have kind of like a good girl element to them. Um, and then there's the back. And where they're selling BB guns. They're always selling BB guns. All right. So now that is the cheapest book of the th of the three. <laughs> so and I think that one's like, that one's around 2000. Um, so let's see what the next one is. All right. Okay, this is the most expensive book of the three. Uh, now, this one, this is Catman Comics number 28. And the big thing with this book is that this is the Cosmic Aeroplane Pedigree. And if you're not familiar with that pedigree, basically it was a guy who was a teacher and he used comics to uh, help with his, uh, basically with teaching kids to draw or teaching students to draw. He used it for like, they would trace, they're often notes in the, in the, um, uh, in the margins of the book and everything. And so these ones, I like that these ones have a, like a pretty cool history to them. And so this is Catman number 28. This is an LB Cole cover. This is one of the top LB Cole covers. I uh, kind of got the great skull cover on it. You've got uh, Catman and Kitten on the front there. Now this one was a 4.5, it better have the gold label. <laughs> I'm going to be upset because I've seen, I, I had one person reach out to me that they had submitted their books in and they sent it back with a blue label and I would be, if I have to send it back, I'm going to be frustrated. All right. All right. I got the gold label. So Catman 28, it's still the 4.5 cosmic, you can see there, cosmic airplane pedigree. And the other thing I really why I really wanted this pedigree label with this one is one, this is a keeper book for me. Uh, I've wanted a cosmic airplane pedigree book for a long time. Part of it is I like the story behind it. I also just really like the name. I think it has one of the coolest pedigree names that's out there, if not the coolest pedigree name that's out there. Uh, cosmic airplane was the name of the shop that uh, this guy's uh, sister brought the books in to sell them. I, I'm assuming when he passed away. Um, but I thought that this, the gold label would really, really pop against this uh, this cover and it definitely does. You know the color scheme of this goes really well with the gold label, and uh, yeah, that looks awesome. So there it is. Now I was this is one you know I was nervous about it because you know this is it's an old book, Golden Age book, 1945. They're having to you know crack the book out of the case and and put it into you know a new case. There's the possibility that things get damaged, all that kind of thing. And you know everything looks everything looks fine from what I can tell, and still the same grade and all that. So very happy. Let's check. Yeah, no real like scuffs or anything on this one. I'm not picky about scuffs or scratches, but it's nice if they don't have them. And uh, yeah, so this is definitely the the biggest book. I mean, I know what I paid for it, but uh, I wouldn't sell it for that or even close to it. <laughs> so um, so I, I mean yeah, and, and I probably wouldn't sell it anyway just because like I said I've been. Uh, I've been really wanting to get a Cosmic Airplane pedigree book and to get one on one of the top LB Cole covers to me is just incredible. So, so yeah, Catman Comics, number 28, awesome book. All right, now for the last one. So this one is one that I actually picked up really recently. I showed it in an unboxing maybe only about a, six weeks ago. I, I think I sent it out almost right after I got it. And so this should be Junior Comics, number 11, uh, this was a Davis Crippen pedigree. So these are called the Davis Crippen or D copies. Uh, basically, he would often put like a, a D on the cover to the book, and that's how they were they were recognized. And this is one of these uh, kind of like Golden Age, Good Girl Art type covers, but it's a little more cartoony. It's more in the, the Archie style. So you can see this one here. And uh, so this is an Al Feldstein cover, and this is one of just these you know, classic good girl art type covers, you know, done this one done by Al Feldstein. There are a number of, basically all these books in this run are these good girl art type covers. Now this is a very high grade copy. I think I put it in the last video when I did the unboxing of it. I don't remember offhand. It's like, there's like two higher or three higher on census. It's an 8-0. So let's see, let's make sure it uh, held that grade. 
Yes. All right. All right. So still got the 8 and here you can see we've got the uh, the Davis Crippen D copy pedigree label, gold label, L Feldstein cover and art, and yeah, just uh, incredible book. Uh, this one is a book that I would value somewhere around four thousand. So it is. I mean, these books. I've talked about this a number of times. These Fox Feature Syndicate books. Um, they did not use real high quality materials when they were making their 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 books. There's more cheap materials. And so that's why often it is very difficult to find these books in nice condition. And so the higher the grade, it really jumps quickly. And so in this case, an 8.0 is a, an extremely tough grade. Like one of the other ones I have, I think is a 7.5 and it's top of census. <laughs> you know, so that just gives you, you know, an example of, of really the fact that it's not super high grade books that are top of census often with these Fox feature books. Uh, they're often um, a little bit lower. I mean, that's why, for example, that Phantom Lady 17, that was a 9.6, uh, that's a Fox feature book. That one sold for 456,000. And it's because those types of grades are relatively unheard of with, you know, Fox feature type books. But there's that cover. Really an incredible looking book. If I remember correctly, this one was in not like a super old case, but not like the original ones, but this was in a pretty old case as well. And so definitely uh, pops much better being in the in the new case, much more clear, all of that. So yeah, another one, really happy with this. So, you know, got the, the gold label that I was hoping to get with the Crip and Pedigree and, uh, you know, just a, a much sharper looking book in the new case. So we've got the... Junior, number 11, 8 Crippen. Then the Catman Comics, number 28, the 4-5 Cosmic Aeroplane Pedigree. And then not a pedigree, but definitely not, you know, not a slouch by any stretch. Uh, the Wonder Comics, number 16, an 8 Classic Alex Schomburg Airbrush Cover. So I am, I am overall happy with this. Glad everything kind of turned out the way I expected. Got the grades that I, back that I had sent them in as. Nice new cases, correct labels, everything. So can't complain. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, saw some cool books, maybe some stuff you haven't seen before, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got more videos over here if you'd like to watch some of my other videos and the subscription button right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.